cutting. In this video, this is going to be the start of a four-part series, okay? And these four parts are going to deal with your Maclaurin series. These Maclaurin series problems are actually going to be pretty easy if you have these memorized, or they are going to be impossible if you don't. There's really not much in between. So, what I want you all to do, pause this video, jot this down, and we'll get into part one. Okay, so... With these, like I said, these need to be memorized. The series definitely need to be memorized. The expansions don't really have to be, but they're really helpful if you can pull them up really quickly, because you could always expand these yourself. But if you have these memorized, just one less brain power cell that you have to use um, in order to answer different problems. But let's take a look at part one. So part one is going to be finding the Maclaurin or the power series of different functions. Now, just as a heads up, a power series is simply a series with an X in it. So Maclaurin series, Taylor series, those series that we did in the previous videos, putting functions into power series, those are all power series. A Maclaurin series is just a special power series. Okay, kind of like how every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square. Power series are the rectangles, Maclaurin series are the squares. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at this. Let's do part A first. I want to find the Maclaurin or power series for x cosine of x squared. The first thing that I like to do with these type of problems is write your parent function, my parent function being cosine x. The reason I do that is because on the exam, these won't be given to you. So rather than trying to pull stuff out of thin air, concretely write it down, that way you have stuff to plug into. So, cosine of x is going to be negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n, over 2n factorial. Now, just as a really quick, before I get into this, a real quick pop quiz, if f of x is x squared plus 1, what's f of 2 equal to? Well, f of 2 is equal to 5, right? But how'd you do that? Well, 2 squared plus 1, which is 5. Keep that in the back of your mind. Because what I want to do next is I want to find cosine of x squared. What would cosine of x squared be? Well, from here, going from f of x to f of 2, I just replaced every x with a 2. Coming over here, if you have cosine of x and cosine of x squared, all you're going to do is replace every x with an x squared. Now my problem wasn't just cosine of x squared. It had an x in front of that as well. So make sure you put an x in front of your series too. Anyways, let's go ahead and distribute this x squared to the 2n. When you have an exponent raised to an exponent, you multiply. So this will be x times the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, x to the 4n, over 2n factorial, and then finally multiply that x into there. When you multiply common bases, you add the exponents. And so your final answer for part a, your x cosine of x squared, is going to be the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, x to the 4n plus 1, over 2n factorial. Let's do one more. Let's do one more to really ensure that we understand what's going on. Let's take a look at part B. So for part B, what we have is we have uh, x squared e to the negative 3x to the fourth. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write my parent function for e to the x. That way I have something concrete to plug into. So e to the x this is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. Therefore, first, I'm going to replace e to the x with e to the negative 3x to the fourth. And how do I find e to the negative 3x to the fourth? We'll just replace every x with the negative 3x to the fourth. So negative 3x to the fourth raised to the n 
over n factorial. And then finally, don't forget you have an x squared on the outside. So make sure you do the x squared on the outside of that as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute that n into everything. What I mean by I need to distribute that n into everything, I'm distributing it into that negative 1. So I have a negative 1 to the n. I'm distributing it into the 3. That's 3 to the n. Into the x to the 4th. That's x to the 4n. All over that n factorial. And then finally, just distribute that x squared into there. And so your final answer, x squared e to the negative 3x to the 4th. Multiplying common bases, you add the exponents. And so this will be the sum from 0 to infinity, then negative 1 to the n, 3 to the n, and multiply the x squared n. You have x to the 4n plus 2 all over n factorial.